Hey there, I'm Lady Edith. Welcome back to Minecraft. Over the past several days, I had been slowly getting the build at the end of the road ready by starting the layout, so it was time to actually build it. I wanted this build to be a restaurant with a kitchen, seating area, and a private dining room on the second floor. The build doesn't add anything particularly new in terms of materials, but I played around a bit with mixing materials to add texture to the build's vertical posts. I combined three different spruce blocks, and I like the look. The build ended up with an L shape on the first floor, which interacts with the elevation change of the road and has multiple ways to get in. I used trap doors like normal to fill in the first floor walls. I mixed them up between the build's different areas with acacia and spruce trap doors used around the main vestibule and oak and acacia around the rest. I wanted to be able to include a captive villager in here, so I formed a kitchen by building a long counter with one block of space behind it. I used the counter position to help create more separation between this area and the dining room by adding in a post. To keep the villager in place, but also get the right look for the view into the kitchen, I added in a line of spruce trapdoors at the top. I placed in dark oak slabs for the ceiling because I was really enjoying how dim it was feeling in the space and I wanted to play that up even more. In the kitchen, I added two regular furnaces, then placed the smoker for the villager at the end of the alley. For even more depth, I placed in oak hanging signs along the back wall. Maybe they're for listing out what's available on the menu. Since I could do it easily, I added a campfire under one of the furnaces to make it look like it was actually cooking, and I added more trapdoors to conceal the furnaces. Back inside the dining room, I added in dark oak fence and gates for a detail on the ceiling. I went on to fully complete the build, but when I stepped back from it, I didn't like how tall the upper floor was. I went ahead and started decorating the first floor though, adding a pressure plate for a cutting board and some bowls ready for some noodles. I don't know about you, but this is making me hungry for some noodles and broth. After tearing the upper floor down, I got to work rebuilding it. I added in an open lookout at the back to enjoy the view down to the cove. Then I got to work adding in the side walls, putting in more spruce, and then I decided to put in dark oak fences to relate to the fences I'd put at the lookout. In the middle of all of this, I was working on getting the librarian zombified. After seeing that he had turned, I healed him up, getting myself with the splash potion too accidentally, and thought the discount from 30 to 5 emeralds was pretty good, though I may try discounting him again. While I was at it, I also got the new chef into place. He didn't give me any discounts, but it might be because he's a pig and I made him the butcher. I ultimately reduced the height of the restaurant's second floor by one block compared to what I'd previously built. I used the dark oak for a border around the roof and deep slate for the main roof, just like I had done on the apothecary. I detailed the upper floor with some nice furniture items, a very large painting, and then traded with the butcher to get two bowls of soup to add to the table. I'm glad I had rebuilt the second floor, and I like the way the shop came out in the end, especially how it relates to the road. Inside, the closed-in feeling of the kitchen and cozy dining room are exactly what I was going for. So this will do for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.